So welcome people, uh, this is me, I've already done the Ruin script to the, to the thing that I've done from Pinterest, I just copied them off with a simple biro people, but if I, it was done within two mins, I just whipped them off, you know, A, B, the, the C, the K, the Q, or all this thing here, it, there's the symbols and that's it, they're the ruins, they're different flavors if you look at um for instance um the h other variations of the h is basically that one or that one but majority of the time it's this left hand side one here which is two lines and one word one diagonal um that's the h or h and then there's like for some reason there's two versions of n but the majority of the versions I can see within is just basically one vertical line down and then a, a line across, which is that one there. And then there's like a couple of versions of S. So this is one version of S on the left, on the right hand side here. And but most people, and if you look at most of the pictures you've got of the text, it's basically that, that, and then one down, and that's the S. Uh, for some reason, uh, the VW is a, is a P. Or like a P shape anyway. V or W is this. The X is again different versions of it, but the version I got from it is a basic line with a triangle in it. Uh, and for some reason, some other people put X as the Z version. So either way, whatever you choose to look at, you that's the version I'm going with. You might correct me on this, but I thought, how can I make this video? exciting i'm going to try i've already done it in biro there they are that's in biro i might try uh them in well i want to write my name my name in ruins so i'm thinking about doing it with uh, a brush pen a broad nib pen a basic pen which is that that um fine nib pen blue pencil which is going to be i'll do that first I'll do, uh, I might do that, use the parallel pen. Hopefully I can fit a couple of these on here. And then I might use, I've been looking forward to this because uh, I might use this graph thing. I'll tell you how technically I'm going to use it. There it is. I might use this, you know, and it could be perfect. I've got this very fine brush, very fine, very fine bristle on him. And it could look pretty cool, I think, with the ruins. Ruins. Ruins, ruins. I think I think it's called ruins. Yeah, it's not like a graphite, a graphite thing, and you, you put water on, and then you come off, and then you you paint your ruins, and or whatever you want to paint. Other people have done examples of it. Either way, let's get started. Let's get started with the pencil. Let's write my name in in ruins in pencil. So I need a W. So the W is this thing can you see yeah so it's this yeah that's pretty that's, that's got a nice feel to it actually the pencil then i want the i which is basically a line i'm going to try and keep it the same line height then i want the two l's so it's basically a line can you see this hopefully you can see this it's a line and then it's a down and then it's a line and then a down and then i want the eye again so that'll be this and then i want the a which will be this and then it's one two yeah and then i want the m which is this is it yeah okay it's that there make sure they're the same height bring that across bring that across and there's my name William in runes <laughs> using a pencil I like it yeah that looks kind of cool actually so that's that now the way I like the pen it's got a, a rustic feel to the pencil this is my uh, fine nib pen with that uh, ink in let's see if it works still yeah we're good to go so we're going to replicate that so we're going to go down we're going to go in that's pretty cool then we want a line then we want another line but with 
one of them down with one of them down and then another one of them and then another line and then the a which is this one here which is a down we go like this and this and then we f do this and this we bring that across to there that across to there and there's my name in uh using a fine nib pen very nice i think i, I think i prefer the pencil though people it's got a rustic feel to it now let's beef it up a little bit and go for um the f this is a i think it's a 0 0.5 very the smallest broad nib i've got let's see if we still got ink in it yeah we got ink in it let's see if we can get this working so not too bad i'm gonna have to twist this around a bit okay that's, that's got a nice feel then we have a, a straight line for the eye then another straight line and then a down and then a straight line and then a down and then a straight line for the eye and then a straight line within this thing going on and then we have another line another line we connect that line up let me just bring that across and we connect that up hey i'm like i'm going a bit ski with there but I'll bring that back together but i like it people i like it on the broad nib it's quite nice uh let's go for the brush this is a um let's have a look sta pigment liner brush water-based water resistant made in china it's quite a big nib let's see if we can make it work let's bring that down a bit oh i'm gone that's too bad Probably bring that back. Yeah, not not brill that one. I'm not used to using the brush pen. I can see. And then we have a down. Come on, that's it, son. And then we have a down. That's not too bad. Oh, look at that there. Not too bad. I don't like the brush, people. I might have another go at this. I think I might, you know. And then we have two of these. You bring this across. You bring this across. Actually, people, I think I might leave it like that. Not the best. I prefer pencil, though. I prefer pencil. What's next? This big boy. Is this still? Oh, I've got to unscrew it. This is a big broad uh, broad nib, as in parallel. Does it work? Try and get it to work. Ah, well, it's working now, people. I'll have to bring it down a bit. So, let's make a nice solid line down here. Oh my God. <laughs> Let them bring that in. And then I might have to bring that line a bit down a bit. Ooh, eh? Okay, then another line, and then that, and then another line, and then that, and then another line, and then another line, and then we have to go with the F bit, and then we have another line, and then another line. That's good. We bring that across, turn over, and bring that across. Yeah, because this pen. Ooh, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna, it's gonna ski with people. But not bad. There's my name in parallel pen. Big boy. <laughs> Damn. I still prefer the pencil. This is a rustic feel with the pencil. And that what's what leads me now to this guy. I haven't tried this, people. Literally, this is me testing things out. Do you know what I mean? I mean, could work out crayon. Do you know what I mean? Try and get some that water. So it's, it's, it's what I've used in here before is from the tea. 
hopefully this very fine brook I mean, you can only see the bristles but let's get some water in yeah you have to sort of get lots of water because it just soaks it up let's try and get the the pee in okay let's get some i might put the water this side we can get to it there you are son there then we want this guy in i don't know people i kind of like it and then we want a straight line a bit more water this is quite rustic actually kind of like it yeah give it more and then we have a straight line down that's not too bad people get some water in there come off another line and then this line get some water on it come off it's straight line now hey i bet when this dries it's going to be quite nice then we've got this funny a with Hey, 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 looking good. And then we have this funny, um, the M. Get some more water. It just soaks it up, but you can see the, the effect I'm getting. That's not too bad. Hey, people. Oh, yeah. I like it. It's got a rustic feel about it. I really do like it. So that's it. Wow. I like this. Imagine doing this at the bottom of a, a thing. Shall we try a different word before we finish? So that at least then we can use it. We can see a different word. Um, okay, we'll try writing. So writing with a biro would be a W. A W is this this shape. So a writing is this, yeah. And then the R is that funny looking R, isn't it? It's a straight line. How you do it? It's a straight line. One line like this, okay. And then you come down like that. And then you go over, but don't touch the line. Okay, don't touch the line. Leave a little tiny gap and come down. So that's W R. We want the I again, which is that. It's that. It's there. It is. It's a straight line. So there. So you want the right. So you want the T now, which is an up arrow. So basically, it's this. Keep the same height and bring it in. There's right, isn't it? Writing. Then you want another I. Yeah. Then you want an N, which is an, a line. Yeah, like that. And then you bring a little line across. And then you want the G, which is an X. Writing. So you could do it like that. That's writing in rooms <laughs> damn that's writing writing okay then uh I ho hopefully i spelt that correctly in english w w r i t i n g writing yeah it is writing yeah should we do it with the big the big thing because i quite like this i quite like this paint this painting malarkey so we're doing a p-shape And that will be for the W. Oh, yeah. Got a bit ski whiff again. Oh, I'll have to bring it back around with the R. Okay. And then we have this out. Bring it in. Not too bad. Let me try and get the other one in. 
because it, it's not straight is it and then we want this other one going in with a little arrow oh it's like a, like a buddy mushroom it ain't easy with this paintbrush i'll try it anyway try and get it in there okay then we want this one that goes over and then through and then we want this x try and get that x to the same x height or height of the other letters that's right writing using this <laughs> i like the feel of these you can't really get the texture of them try and hold it up to camera and hopefully you can see the texture i've got it can you see it's got like a rustic feel to the uh feel of it i kind of like it with this brush i really do so hopefully you've enjoyed me writing my name in ruins and then i wrote writing in ruins i think i might investigate this more because i intend to go and do something as an art piece and include ruin ruins or i think it's pronunciation it went pen the action is this people rooms they're called rooms yeah so check it out have a look have a little play with the symbols you might get different versions of different letters but remember the c the k the q is that thingy arrow like a less than symbol uh the other one is h other people put this h some people put that h or you can put both but i think i'll stick with that h do you know what i mean uh, let's let's write the word, last last word then. Let's try something different. How would you write um, hello? Let's write hello in runes. So H is this. Can you get this? So this, and then it's down again, and then it's uh, it's over. That's it. That's that's H. The E is well, basically it's it's a line. It's a line, and then it's over, and then over. Okay. Then we want two L's, which is this and this. Get some more. This and this. Hey, what's the O? The O's a funny one. You have to sort of do this. Um, you do like an, a, a pointy one there, and then a pointy one there, and then you have to do like an X from that, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. So you sort of do this. You start from that edge and you bring it over, and you come from this edge and bring it over. That's hello. <laughs> hello. So let me write that down. That's H. That's the E. That's the L. That's the L. That's the O. Hello. <laughs> so hopefully you found this informative. And here's my first try with different different materials to, to play with runes. The Viking script. So I intend to do an art piece and include this in it. Do you know what I mean? So hope you found this informative. You've never touched runes before. They're very easy to learn. I mean, you could copy this if you wanted to from the top and then play with it. But if you're on Pinterest or the web or internet, internet, you can get the virtual. You can get a gist of what these symbols are and then play with them. So, hopefully, you've watched all the way through and you've enjoyed it. And um, I look forward to the next video and seeing you there. So, thanks very much. And goodbye, guys. Cheers. Thank you.